I didn't look. I didn't. I, I bet you're not even wearing the dress. <laughs> what? Give him a tap on the shoulder. What make you wait? <laughs> you're so mean. Okay. Am I good? Yeah, you're good. Okay. You're good. You're Aww. good. <laughs> oh my gosh. Do you see? <laughs> You like it? Yes, yes, I love it. It's you look really good. <laughs> um, I know with everyone watching. I know. The pressure's on. Oh my gosh, she looks so good too. I love the tie in the foot the wooden you. I know. Really it good. looks I'm very happy about it, so oh, you look very pretty. Yes, I do love it. Okay. Okay. Are you ready to cry? Yeah, but we're but we're doing a lot of downstairs because I don't want uh, everyone and their mom watching. Okay, okay. That's fair. <laughs> I yeah. Okay. I'm gonna try to hold it together. <laughs> okay, Mason. Oh my gosh. Okay. <sighs> As I said before you today. Oh my gosh. How am I gonna get through this? <laughs> okay. I cannot believe we are finally here. I know you and I have been dreaming about this day since before we could even drive. <laughs> I'm just feeling so excited and grateful to be marrying you. I remember when we were 15, you told me you thought the core values of a relationship should be friendship, communication, and Jesus. <laughs> Though it seemed simple, and we didn't know it at the time, this would go on to be a wonderful description of why our relationship works. There's no doubt in my mind that God has brought us together, and I truly believe <laughs> He brought us together for a purpose, to build his kingdom and to display his power of transformation in both of our lives. He's caused both of us <laughs> to grow in tremendous unexpected ways and I know he's not done yet. Well, Mason Hannah, it is an honor for me to be here today and to witness uh, the beginning of a great journey for you guys to be married. Um, Mason, when I first came to Journey back in January 2021, I immediately upon my first day inherited 16 children that were interned. <laughs> You were one of those those kids, and uh, I remember meeting you and just getting to know you a little bit, and I knew back then you had no idea what you were doing with your life. And eventually, I heard about this girlfriend that you had, supposedly. You had this girlfriend named Hannah, and she sounded amazing, and people loved her, but I was like, I wasn't sure if it was real. Like, kind of sounded like, I have a girlfriend, but she goes to a different school kind of thing, and I was like, do you? And come to find out, he did. She was very real, and she was everything that I had heard about her. Um, and so to see that journey, just over two and a half years of you guys growing individually together, and now as grown people getting married, it's just an honor to be here with you guys today. I love you, Hannah. I want you to know that I love you. I haven't cared for anyone like I've cared for you. I haven't been as open to anyone as I've been to you. I haven't done new things. <laughs> With anyone, like I have been with you. I haven't wanted to grow old with anyone like I have with you. You are truly my everything. I want to hold you for the rest of my days and I do not want to let go. I want to do stupid things <laughs> with you and act cute and do whatever I have to do provide because I want to do everything and anything for you. I know not every day will be easy and I'm okay with that. I know that not every day we might not like each other and I'm okay with that. I know that one day we might get sick or cranky or things not look good but I'm okay with that because it is with you. In my vows, I'm about to vow to love Jesus more than you. And part of that is because if I, if I can even give a fraction of the love that Jesus gave you, you have the best uh, spin on the planet. <laughs> uh, it's funny, I feel like at this point, either of us are both crying. <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna wrap it up. Hannah, my beautiful fiance, um, Eflin Oma Seeger, I love you forever and always. May God always be in the center and have you by my side. <laughs> Since they have made these commitments before God in this assembly, by the authority of God and by the laws of the state, I declare that Mason and Hannah are husband and wife. Mason, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> I'm Greg Eflin. I happen to be the father of the bride. Yeah, I guess I guess as we said last night, I know I've known Hannah since I drove her home from the hospital. Uh, probably a little bit more than that. You know, obviously girls have birthday parties and they have 
seven or eight or 95 of their friends come over. <laughs> and um, I made a mistake one year. This was when Hannah Montana was cool. So here it was bedtime, and I decided I'm going to play a Hannah Montana movie for him. And uh, Morgan might have been there, actually, yes. And uh, then it turned into a rock concert. <laughs> How, have you ever seen one of the on um, TV how or a movie where they have this beautiful girl and she has this long flowing hair and they show it in slow motion like swaying back and forth well the first time I met Hannah we were went to her house Mason was 15 so he couldn't drive so I brought him over to uh, Sarah and Greg's house and when Hannah opened the door because I'd never seen her before her hair was this long, gorgeous, beautiful hair. The first thing I was thought, thought was like, whoa, my boy did good. <laughs> then I saw that gorgeous hair and I'm like, uh-oh, I think I've just been replaced. <laughs> I don't know if you know me, my name is Adam, and I have the honor of being Mason's best man. Mason and I have known each other for the better part of 10 years. We first met at church and man, was it love at first sight. We had so much in common. We were in orchestra together, we both hated PE, and we were scared to talk to girls, so it's safe to say we were both huge nerds. I also think it's safe to say we figured out the girls thing. It's all awesome. This was the first time I'd ever experienced a friendship. Oh, I'm gonna cry. Sorry. This was the first time I'd ever experienced a friendship with Christ at the center, and it changed my life. And it's been an honor and a joy to grow alongside of you and Mason. I've watched you love my best friend with boldness and understanding. You serve others wholeheartedly, and you're willing to sacrifice despite the cost. Let these things be the foundation of your new role as husband, and trust that God has and is equipping you. And know that my threat that I have so boldly confronted you with in ninth grade still stands. You better protect her, and you better not hurt her, or else. <laughs>